Alright, David Harry here, and in this video I'm going to be doing some gameplay in 4K 60 frames per second from a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and I will be using Call of Duty for this example. Now, I'm just going to go into some really boring details, however, if you're not into the boring details, then there will be a timestamp probably on the screen and in the description taking you straight to the gameplay. However, if you're into this stuff, I would strongly recommend that you listen to the boring stuff right now because you might learn something and it's also really important to know exactly what's going on here. So as we can see I am on the desktop here in DeX on the S23 Ultra. I'll stop saying S23 Ultra, we know what it's all about anyway. Okay so what I'm going to do is just explain some stuff here. So I've downloaded Good Lock here so let me just launch this. And then with inside good lock, what we will see is this thing called multi-star. So if I click into there, and what we will see here is this I love Samsung Dex thing. So you tap on that, and then as we can see here, it says high resolutions for external display, and that is ticked on. So what happens when you load up good lock and then like launch into this like I love Samsung Dex thing through the multi-star, it allows you to go into 4K basically. And this is the only way that you can do it. So to be clear, 4K is not standard with DeX, and this is the only way that you can get 4K out of it. This is like experimental functions and stuff like that. Okay, so let me get out of there. Now, the next thing to show you is in settings. So if I come into settings here, and then if I go to Samsung DeX here, and then go to display resolution, as we can see, this is telling us we are in 4K UHD, so that's 3840 by 2160, so yeah, 4K UHD. Okay, so let me exit that. Now what I'm going to do now is just explain how I've got my setup. So what I'm using is an original Samsung deck station here, and this is the one where you just like slot your phone into the top and stuff. Now on the back of this thing, what you've got is like a number of ports on it, so you've got a USB-C input for plugging power in, so you you can power the phone and charge and stuff whilst you're doing things and i'm actually using a samsung charger to plug into there then you've also got a hdmi output and obviously i've got that plugged out and then we've got an ethernet port so i'm going hardwired for my internet for this example and then we've also got a couple of usb a ports there so you can plug things in like keyboard and mice and like you know wireless dongles for keyboards and mice and such however for this example i'm actually using my trusty rtec Bluetooth mouse and keyboard because these just work great with everything so these are paired up to the S23 Ultra via Bluetooth okay so looking back at the desktop here and I think that should be everything explained oh actually one last thing the way that I'm recording this is via an Elgato 4k 60s plus so what's happening is the HDMI output from the deck station is plugged into the Elgato and then that plugs into my monitor so I can monitor what I'm doing Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just launch Call of Duty here. And as we can see, that's all launching in 4K. Now, the one thing that I will have to say here, though, these graphics are definitely not in 4K with inside Call of Duty itself. And I doubt there'll be any games out there that actually will internally render to 4K. However, and as I will show you, Call of Duty is set to its highest graphic output as well. Anyways, as we can see here, this is asking me to select my controller. Now, I forgot to say, I'm on a PS5 controller here, but the thing is I have to select Xbox because if I select PS5 for the controller all the assignment for the buttons goes all weird and it's all like all over the place and stuff so I'm selecting Xbox because that works so let me just click on OK there now let me just try and get past a, a bunch of this stuff okay so what I'm gonna do quickly is just go to uh, settings so let me get up here Okay, what it is, I'm having a bit of difficulty here because my mouse pointer is tiny because I'm in 4K. You can obviously alter these things in some of the settings and that, however, I've not done that. Okay, so I'm going to go to graphics here. As we can see, it is in very high and max. Now, I'm not entirely sure if on other Android devices we actually get higher options than what I've got here. But right now, this is what I'm getting. And I will get these options even if I'm not in DEX mode. So I do think that there might be some room for maneuver here as far as optimizing the games for the new chipset on the S23 Ultra. 
although the same chipset is on other phones so it's going to be interesting if other people have got any other phones with the same chipset in and let me know if they get higher settings than these okay so what i'm going to do now is just exit settings here now i'm going to try and get into a ranked match here so let me just try this now the only problem is i i just like it takes ages and ages for me to get into ranked games and sometimes or most of the time i can't even get into them so i'm going to speed through this until i hit into the game okay so as we can see here i've waited for a minute and a half and i can't get into a ranked game here so i'm going to cancel that and now i'm going to go back and i'm going to have to just go for standard multiplayer here okay so there's multiplayer and i'm likely to get straight into a game with this one so let me try this okay right i'll speed through this until i actually hit into the game Okay, so there we have it then, some 4K 60 frames per second gameplay using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in Dex mode. Now, if you've liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And also, keep an eye on my channel if you're into this kind of stuff. I'll try some more 4K 60 gaming with some other stuff, maybe Apex and a couple of other things. And I'll try some other gaming stuff as well with the S23 Ultra. I'll also do a bit more about decks and stuff and setups and how to plug things into external monitors and TVs using keyboards, mice, external storage devices and whatnot. And there will also be some links in the video description below for all the stuff that I've used in this video. And I will also try and put some extra links in there as well for things such as US. USB-C hubs because unfortunately the Samsung deck station that I've been using for this video it's no longer made and you have to try and find those second hand and whatnot anyways I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>